Hi all, this is the Makehaven video for our optical comparator. So the optical comparator is a really cool tool. Its purpose, as the name implies, is to compare things. So uh, originally what this, one of the purposes of this tool was to take a finished part and then it magnifies it up onto this big screen and then you can compare it against the drawing that you're supposed to be making and so you can make sure that you're actually you made the part to the specifications so we're going to go through the ways to use this tool it's not terribly dangerous uh, though it is pretty expensive so you need to make sure to treat it with respect there are two main ways that this tool works uh, the first is by projecting light from this side and then it shines it over your piece. We're going to be using just this little bolt as an example today and then into a lens here. And in this case, we have a 10 times magnification lens. It takes that light and puts it up on the screen 10 times bigger than it was sent in. So that can make it easy to measure small things. So let's say we wanted to really know exactly the spacing between the threads on this bolt or we wanted to know exactly how deep the threads were or something like that then we mount it in here and it will magnify it 10 times and then we can hold calipers and any other tool we want up to this screen to measure it uh, and that will just make those features easier to measure if you had a drawing you could put it on a transparency and use these clips to hold it up on, onto the glass uh, and make sure it aligns with your part. Sometimes there will even be little uh, dotted lines for tolerances that will show you exactly how much above or below those dimensions you can be and still have your part pass that qualification. Uh, and then, so that's sort of like the analog way of using the machine. And then it also has a more digital way, uh, including the digital readout up here and then this angle meter here. And so those are an additional tool you can use to get measurements off of your part. Uh, so in addition to shining the light over the material, which is called profile mode because it, it casts a shadow of the profile, you can also put it in surface mode. And surface mode uses little lights that shine out here, bounce them off of the surface of your piece, and then it reflects into the lens and onto the screen. So that is a little bit trickier to use. Um, because your material needs to be reflective enough to bounce the light back. And, but sometimes, like if you wanted to measure the, the size of the, of the hex hole in here, then that could be a useful tool. So we're going to give all those a try and see what happens. So for loading up our piece, we're first going to put it in profile mode. And let's say we wanted to measure these threads. I'm going to clamp it right in this little clamp in a vertical position. You can also put it in a horizontal position. Uh, and you can also turn a lot of the pieces on here. So this little guy can turn if you loosen this, or if you loosen that. And we're just gonna put it right back to zero so we don't get confused. And then when you loosen this, it allows you to slide this piece. So we'll just tighten that back up again. Uh, and you can actually turn this whole table if you wanted to. So you just loosen a handle underneath here, and then it lets you turn this whole base. And again, I'm just going to set it right back to zero so we don't get all confused. Just like that. Okay. And so now this is set in here and we want to get it approximately in between the projector and the lens. So for that, we're going to use this little knob to move along the X axis. And it's getting pretty close there. And then we want to move it up and down to bring it down a little bit. And for that, we're going to use a knob over on this side. So the knob here brings this whole head up and down. And so that's going to help us move up and down. And the last knob that's important is this one, which moves it forwards and back. And what that does is it changes the focus. So that's not actually moving it in the picture, it's just moving it forwards and back, which changes the, the focus. So we'll see what that looks like in a minute. So now that our piece is loaded up, we're going to turn it on. I'm just going to hit the power button down here and make sure that surface mode is off and profile is on. And it's just set to low, which I think is more than enough. And now 
we can see that there is the light shining from here and then casting a shadow which shows up on our screen up here. And so we're going to adjust the focus because right now this is pretty blurry. So we're just going to turn this knob until it comes into sharp contrast. So that looks pretty sharp to me, which is great. And now again, you can see that you can move it this way and this way as well as up and down. Um, and something else that we can do at this point is align the angle markers here. So right now, this is at a bit of an angle. So we're just going to turn this knob down here until the line, or we can even turn it, find the zero line, lines up exactly right in that slot. Just like that. For our purposes, it doesn't need to be perfect, but there we go. And now we're just going to hit the reset button down here. So it's registered. So now it's zero. And now when we turn this, it'll read the angle out to us on the DRO. So we don't need to grab another tool and put it up on the screen. So that could be helpful. Let's say we wanted to measure the angle on a thread. We could just move it over here. So when we bring the origin right to the, to, right to the edge of this thread, we can actually see that this line lines up with it perfectly. So it's, it's going to be 30 degrees. But we can also, using the digital feature, turn this so it lines up. And then here in the digital side, it says 29 degrees and 33 minutes. You know, but there's a little bit of wiggle room depending on how good of a job you do with lining it up. So now it says 30, 20. Uh, but that's how you use that feature, so we'll just put that back to zero. I mentioned that these are for clipping a, um, like a vellum or a, silk, um, or a transparency on here so that you can see through it. And uh, now we can, we can measure something. So I could grab calipers and measure, make sure these are zeroed, set to inches. Obviously, we don't want to scratch anything, so I'm not putting it um, the tips in, but that looks like about 2.43 inches to me. And then uh, because this is magnified 10 times, you just move the decimal place over one, so it would become 0.243 inches. And because it's a quarter 20 bolt, that makes some sense. So that's pretty good. We could also, if we didn't know what the threads per inch was, we have a thread gauge, you could go this way and measure, uh, obviously, any other feature. And if you wanted to measure a different profile on here, then you could just change the orientation of the bolt in the little vise. So uh, now we're going to look at how you use the digital readout in this case. And actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change the orientation of our bolt for the purposes of our DRO reading. So I'm going to put it now in this position. So now we just need to refocus this because it's the light's hitting at a different place. So now it's focused, and I'm just going to move it closer to the middle of our screen. The, the screen is probably the most accurate right in the middle because uh, there's probably some distortion, so we're just going to put it there. And now we can use the DRO to measure the, uh, the radius of that circle if we wanted to do that. So on the DRO, way up there, I'm just going to push the power switch on the back of it. And should turn that guy on. And then it's just blinking. So I think if you just push X or any of the buttons, it stops it blinking. And now it's all set to zero. So you can see that if you move something around, it changes in X. And then up and down, moving the table up and down is changing the Y here. So Z is, becomes Y on the DRO. Uh, so this could be useful if we just wanted to measure from one side to the other. We could go here and zero out x, and then go to the other side. And now we have our reading for the diameter of that head. So that's one way of doing it. Uh, another way is we can use some of the features built into the DRO. So we can hit the radius button here, and it's asking for three points. So the first point we're going to give it, we can use the one where it's at. The cursor uh, is right in on the edge. And obviously, there's, there's some ridges on there, which makes this a little bit um, inaccurate, but that's OK. 
And then I'm just going to hit Enter for save that point. And now we can go over to somewhere over here and hit Enter again. Now on the last point, and we'll go somewhere up top. Okay, and enter again. Now it's doing a little thinking. And I just pushed enter again, and it says 0.184. Uh, so that should be the radius of this, of the head of the bolt. And we can confirm that with the calipers, just to make sure it's giving us a number we like. So using the calipers, the head looks to me like 0.36. And 0.36 divided by 2 is pretty close to 0.18. Uh, so that seems like it did a good job. Then those are most of the features um, for profile mode. Obviously, there's a lot more going on in the DRO that, that can be used. But um, now we're going to look at surface mode. And just as a note, you, we don't have any other lenses for this machine, but there, you, know, you could get other lenses to have different magnifications. So now what we're going to do is switch it over to surface mode. So I'm just going to turn profile off and turn surface on. And now these little fiber optic lights down here have turned on. And these are pretty adjustable. So we can loosen these knobs and move them to wherever we want them. And we're going to take this bolt of ours put it right back in the vise. And we're going to try to shine our lights right at the head of this bolt. Just tightening down on the clamp so they stay there. Uh, and now I'm going to adjust the focus again. Bring that up to the middle. There we go. So now it might be a little hard to see because it is dim, there's less light coming back, but you can see that we can now focus on different layers of the bolt. So here's right at the top surface, and then we can go down. So now again, we could use either the DRO or calipers or ruler to take measurements right off of uh, off the screen. So now we can, this is obviously not a profile, right? This is a, a surface that the light can't shine over. We have to bounce it in, and uh, and then it reflects into the lens so we can see it here, so that's, that's the other feature of the, um, of the comparator. Just one other thing, this is just a little lock. So this just, if you don't want it to turn, you can just turn that. We're just going to leave it loose. There's a little lever here, so you can push, lift this up, and that allows you to just slide the X carriage without turning the knob. Um, and underneath there are a few more accessories for mounting things in different ways. But those are most of the features. Um, it's important to make sure the lenses are clean, so use the lens cleaner from the lasers if you are going to clean those. Um, make sure to turn the DRO off when you're done, as well as the lights. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.